Hello, everybody. Welcome to Trying This After Dark. It's where we try things that are more on the 21 side and up things. Beers, whiskeys, alcohol in general. It's a thankless job, but someone's got to drink it. I am John. I am this one's husband, and this one is... Kent McAdam. She owns the channel, but I run the show. So, what we got today is... Two bourbons, because I know you like bourbon. And one of these bourbons has been provided to us, not with a sponsorship, but because they gave me half off a quarter by the company Flaviar. They basically distribute alcohol for the for a relatively high price. And by relatively, I mean it's extremely high for my tastes. But if I could afford it, I would. Yeah. I won't say the price. You'll have to look for yourself. Check it out. Even if you don't actually, you know, get a membership, you can still get a uh, account on the site and read all their fun alcohol articles. It's actually pretty good. Now, that's it. We got two bourbons. One's been provided by Flaviar through their alcohol system, in which every quarter they send you a flight, which is three tasters and a bottle. Mm. And one I bought myself at a, not even a local liquor store, a local grocery store. Because we live in Las Vegas, and you can find decent whiskey at a grocery store. Like, I've seen Lagavulin at Walmart. <laughs> like, Lagavulin 16. This is also the same city that you can walk into a grocery store sometimes, or a gas station, and find machines. Saw machines, yeah. So, as you are the one that likes bourbon... Would you like to try the one so thankfully provided to us by our non-sponsored friends of Laviar? Or would you like to try the other one mm. that I purchased? Let's try the first one. The one from Flaviar it is. This is Pinhook Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. There's a horse on the front. That's because all of their barrels are styled after a horse that has won races. In this case, it's Bohemian, horse size 15.3 hands, color brown, sex female, and this bottle is 95 proof. Honestly, I was thinking it looks like the type of bottle you would find at a bar at a racehorse. It, it, it kind of does. I, like, I, I imagine that if, if I were so inclined, I could make a heck of a mint julep out of this. Keep that and keep an, keep an eye out for future videos. I'm going to try to see if I can figure out to make a mint julep. Yum. Now, I have not opened any of the, either of these yet, so you get to go on this adventure with us. All puppies that are under 21 need to get out of the kitchen. Well, I mean, if you go by the old standard of, like, seven years for every one year, I mean... He's only 14, then. And we're not going to talk about when we had our first drinks, either. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Does it work? Hi, you. <laughs> really? You're either not getting a scent or you're getting an odd scent. Let's continue on. I'm not sure what I'm sniffing. That's I'm like, let's continue <laughs> on. We have, of course, my wonderful and ever so glorious Glen Cairns, freshly cleaned. Ignore the fingerprints. Things can get weirder. You always pour for others before you pour for yourself. It's polite. It's good manners. I'm not sure what I'm getting, but I'm getting something. <laughs> Does it at least tell you what flavors? Nope. Okay, we're going in blind. What it says on the back here is, Every year, Pinhook releases new bourbons and rise 
that showcase the best attributes of our barrels. After meticulous barrel selection and blending, we find the perfect proof for each expression, giving the vintage a character as unique as the thoroughbred on the label. Kind of neat, huh? That's cool. Also, apparently the label on this is interactive. Get the Pinhook AR app by scanning the QR code on here, which I'm not showing, with your camera. Distilled and bottled by Castle and Key Distillery, Frankfurt, Kentucky. So it is, in fact, a Kentucky bourbon aged more than three years. Nice. Which is required for bourbons. They have to be aged in an unused oak barrel for three years, minimum, to be a bourbon. Hmm. And they can only be made in America. There is a lot of rules when it comes to certain alcohols, such as bourbon. Well, bourbon's one of those uniquely American whiskeys. And we are viciously protective of it. Like, it's got to go in at a certain proof, come out at a certain proof. Oi. Okay, so. There's the color. Que color es? Es the whiskey color. Yep. See? Like, I'm not sure what I'm getting, but I'm... I got a burn up my nose, though. Oh. Flaviar coaster. You could probably blunt someone with that thing. Hey! Yes. Yes, you could. Ooh, good ring. Yep. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Mmm. So, fun fact. Ugh. I used to hang out with one of my friends while she would practice horse riding. This tastes like the arena smells. It's not terrible. It brings back some good memories for me. But, ah. Uh, that's, um. The taste slowly gets you. Mm. At first, it's like, okay, whatever. And it's then a it's bourbon. A There's sweetness from the bourbon, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of oak. And then all of a sudden, it's like, why do I get grass? And then all of a sudden, it tastes like ass. That's be nice. I am being nice. No, you're not. <sighs> but it sneaks up on you. It's like a sneaky friend. They start as polite and nice, and it's okay. And then you notice some subtle things about it, and then all of a sudden it strikes. <laughs> like you trying to tickle me. Um, no. Not for me. Maybe for Mixon. Like I said, keep an eye out. You might see a mint julep video pop up. Maybe. But as it is, not for us. But that doesn't mean it's a bad bourbon. It just means it's not for us. It's just not our taste. Yeah. Because we're, we're firm believers in the whiskey tribe philosophy. The best whiskey is the one you like poured how you like it. In your favorite glass. Yes. I've washed them enough with them to know that, too. <laughs> so we're not going to yuck someone's yum. If they like that, more power to you. But us? Just not us. Now, the other one, the one that I purchased separately, is High West Whiskey. Yeah. American Prairie Bourbon, blend of a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys, bottled by High West Distillery, Park City, Utah. Batch number 19J04. <laughs> 46% alcohol by volume. So that's 92 proof. That is a lot of paragraphs here on the back. <laughs> I ain't reading it. No, don't. Don't read it. Ah, I love this. High West Home in historic Old Town Park City and the world's only ski in gastro distillery. Not show filtered, no coloring or flavoring added. All right. Interesting. 
Also, they donate 10% of their profits, uh, of their after-tax profits, to the American Prairie Reserve. Ooh. So, yeah. while you're drinking, you're getting drunk, and supporting America's prairies. All for a good cause. And here we go. Hmm. So, how are you doing so far? I'm fine. Cool. Jason, no, we do these in batches. So we had already finished the last one just like uh, 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm feeling it a bit. You feel it? I'm feeling it. But you know what? It's a good feeling. Because as I'm partaking of these with the knowledge I have, I'm educating someone else, and hopefully catching the interest of a few people out there. And if you're not enjoying this, why are you here? <laughs> Don't yuck our yum. Don't yuck our yum. Don't yuck our yum. <sighs> Don't hate on what other people may like. I feel like that should be a sticker. I mean, if the phrase wasn't already, I'm pretty sure, copyrighted. No. Darn. The plastic is not coming off of it, but you know what? Oh, wow. Well. That's fine. All right. Let's get to the pouring bartender. I'd love to be a bartender. I think it'd be a fun job. Aside from all the people that would inevitably start fights. A little dribble. Yeah. It happens as you get older. Are we starting that now? Yeah. Nah, we're good. Okay. That was just me pouring badly. Alright. It looks like other whiskeys. Bourbons. As a matter of fact... Yep. Hmm. Oh. Uh, no. That went up my nostril like freaking after nose spray. Oh. Yeah. Let's see what Ohio's best can do. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to say Utah. There we I'm go. I'm feeling a little more than I thought. Well, Utah's best can be. Don't worry. This is the last alcohol one we're doing in this batch. For a while. That's better. Yeah. Don't really care for it, though. I actually do. You do? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely milder, definitely. But there's something about it that just doesn't settle in my mouth well. Keep the comments to yourself, dear. Yeah, no, I guess I could drink that. No. I mean, I would normally be fine with milder. And it does, it burns, but not badly. But the flavor is not doing it for me. It's not a bad one, just not for me. Which, you know what? That's fair. So, there you go. I'm good. Apparently, I got a hole in my mouth. Clearly. All right, so we've tried two bourbons, yep. and now I must ask, hmm. which goes on the shelf and which gets shipped down to health? I like 
the other one. Yeah, but I'm going to keep changing it every time just to spite you. Oh, you're no fun. I am all the fun. Honestly, if I absolutely had to pick... Gun to your head. It would be the High West. Yeah, definitely. That's again, let's not say I'm not going to try the pin hook in, as I said. I'm not gonna, let's not say I'm not going to try it in like a mint julep or something. Because you know what? It's got a horse on it. And what is the national drink of the Kentucky Derby? What is like the, the star drink of it? It's a good old-fashioned mint julep. So keep an eye out, and you may see me mixing one of those here soon. Yep. But, till then. With everything that's just been said, um, we have social medias. Usually, if you find mine, you can find this one. Fox Mug! <laughs> um, on, other than YouTube, on Twitter, on the TikTok, on the Instagram. With all that said, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of these, we do have other food try videos, and I have two podcasts. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know when these come out, hit that bell and make a ring. Till next time, you guys. Bye. Good night. Good drinks. Or maybe something better than that, at least. <laughs>